Oh. Ugh. You saying that I can't go out with my friends, right? What are you? Can you answer me something? Yes. If you if you are in a relationship with somebody mm -hmm. and you really love them, yeah, and they're doing everything they need to do as a man for you, mm -hmm. what the f do you need to be out the club for? I'm not gonna say that, cause okay, let me tell you, I like to cook, I like to clean, mm -hmm. but like controlling, I don't yeah. like that. I'm not controlling though. I, I don't, I don't, I don't control anything. I tell you my boundaries, and if you cross it, then I'm just gonna tell you, hey, look, I, I don't f with that. So like, you can go this way, and I'll go my way. I'm not gonna ever tell you to not do something. I don't control. Sh I've never been that way, but I do enforce my boundaries. Okay. And I make them clear from the very get go. Mm. I don't sit there and wait until like the middle of a relationship to start setting these boundaries, like all these. Right. Other you know what I'm saying. So if I tell you boundaries in the beginning of a relationship and you agree to them. And then later on in the relationship, you cross them. Yeah. I'm gonna just have to be like kindly, like, hey, listen to me. I told you my boundaries, and you cross them, so I'm gonna have to go this way. You go that way. Good job, my brother. We rock it with. If you see a woman and she shows up like this with like fake huge ass and like just those creepy clothes, just if you entertain that relationship, that conversation, you're done. No self-respecting guy will ever be seen with someone looking like that. Do you want to up tonight? Do you guys have like have guy friends at all? I have okay. one since high school. So if you made a move, he would reject you. I think he would. Where I think he, he looks at me guy. as little sis, and I definitely look at him as big bro. What's your man? Like, do you want to me? I kind of want to you tonight, Patty. We can't do it tonight. Why? So we can do it tomorrow? Yeah, we can do it tomorrow. <laughs> That's it. He's today. like a brother to me. I could no, never. He's not Women should not be having guy friends. All this cringe stuff. Oh, don't worry. He's just a friend. Oh, no worry. We had the small thing, but it's just like every single woman that does that and has guy friends and gaslights you like that is a piece of shit. Like you, my girl, are a piece of shit. You shouldn't be having guy friends because those guys either have tried to sleep with you or will try to sleep with you at some point. Even if it is just once, I don't give a shit. It's like stop having them if you want to be in a relationship if not just go and be friends with them so what if he makes just a little bit less it's still no no go it, if, if i'm accepted it's probably gonna have to be a, a little just a little bit less like 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 like, like fifty thousand less no probably about ten ten thousand ten thousand less yeah 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 okay last question last question of the night uh if drake <laughs> Wanted to fly you out on an expense paid trip to his house. But you're in a relationship. Are you going? It was at this moment that he knew. He oh. Fuck, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, yo. I'm going. <laughs> we really live in uh, insane times because you see, even regular ass women will leave loving relationships just to be able to hook up with uh, some famous guy for one night meaning a lot of things meaning the uh, girl doesn't love the guy anyway and she wants fame and all that stuff and it really is just a beautiful sight to see because this is like women are their honest if you ask me how much will you give me a week for me to stop dancing tripping i would never stop i would never uh, stop i think that this guy maybe he's a simp or maybe he knows what he's gotten himself into and he's just there for like the uh, bedroom fun and nothing else very easy for you to get laid in china as a foreigner it's easy to get bitches if you are a foreigner like I don't want to say this, but it's true. I saw a video recently of a guy with a microphone talking about don't ever date a dancer because they're all liars and manipulators and blah, blah, blah. And it's like you use the word manipulation like it's a bad thing. Sometimes it's just a simple, gentle reverse psychology on these guys to remind them that we're there to get paid and compensated for talking to these guys. Like last night, some guy... Mm -hmm. Got me a drink, tip me on stage a little bit, but he wanted me to sit with him and he's talking my head off, but not about dances or anything. There was no one else to sit and talk with, so I dealt with it. But then I thought of something and I said, okay, well, I don't want to take up too much of your time. In case you want to get familiar with any of the other dancers we have, I don't want them to think I'm hogging you. And he was like, oh no, I'm taking up your time. Let me tip you for sitting with me for so long and gave me a 50. 
and which isn't much but like i'm gonna use that line and use that line and guess what you can call that manipulation all you want but it is getting the job done for me personally i find strip clubs disgusting i uh never been uh, to enjoy myself and all that stuff i truly think it, you just go there to get blue balls and nothing else if you're paying money you better get some action too not just dancing not just teasing it truly is just the ultimate cock experience in my honest opinion i wouldn't do that and as far as like uh, manipulation and all that stuff you see how she flipped it meaning that the guys are indeed correct never ever ever dare date a stripper a dancer or anything like that they see men as uh, atms that they can manipulate and nothing else you buy girls drinks at the bars yes really yes how many are we talking in a, in a weekend like a weekend well, i'll buy a hundred shots if i have to you keep talking Same. man and you shut the fuck up i think that uh, you are setting yourself up for failure if you do that with the whole buying um drinks for like a shot of tequila or whatever for the girl it's like girls are like oh this guy bought me a nice yada 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 and then they just move on with their lives like i've dated women that have told me that like hey that guy just bought me a shot of whiskey or whatever and then it's like yeah okay but i hooked up with her that night so the fact that some other guy didn't pay for the whiskey was like okay and so you know i've been working since i graduated college in 1993 and i've been working hard my whole life getting up every day going to work um i got that part so no, i'm just i'm just trying to explain to you then what's going on with my investments that i say are temporary. you gonna lose your money no 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 so okay what i'm trying to say is um i wanted to talk to you about how you feel um, you know, about signing Prino. Exquisite. Now, now here's the deal with that. Let me, let me explain. I, I'm super in love with you. You're super in love with me. We're no, both she's very not. in love. Okay. No. But like, if, um, what I'm saying is, uh, uh, what am I saying? <laughs> uh, um, Cringe. I, for, I forgot where Same. I was, but, um... Like, it mean, hurts me? Like, you thinking I'm marrying you? Doesn't. Like, to... To divorce, first of all? Yes, you right are. Now, I'm, 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 no, I'm not saying yes, that. I'm saying, I think we'll be together forever. No, you don't. I think we're gonna last forever. No, I know we are both in love. No, you're not. So why forever. do you need a prenup? No. We all see it. He sees it as well. He doesn't say it publicly. The reason why you want a prenup is that you know deep down in your heart that this girl is way above you when it comes to looks. And obviously she can do way better than you. She's all dolled up. She has makeup on and he's dressed up like a dwarf. Has a baseball cap which I'm assuming he's a bold self at this point. And his mannerism, his everything his voice it's all just like flimsy and nerdy type and a woman that looks like that with that type of confidence like laid back on the chair will not go for this loser unless he has a lot of money and he has like a lot of financial potential and you have to understand like women that look like that already have a sexual past they have they have had tons of sex with attractive men when they were like in high school university whatever it is right so now they've gotten to a point where sex to them is just something casual that they will use against the guy with a lot of money to hold him down and basically be in the relationship with him but to their own standards <laughs> sensational what are you generally like looking for like i think i'm just looking for like a quickie. I don't want a husband right now. When do you think you'll be ready to settle down? Like 40? If you're dating for a quick one, yeah, and you just want a casual hookup with a guy that you're actually into, okay, fair enough, you're honest, at least there's that. I personally find this tasteful to say that publicly and explicitly, but you do you boo. -boo. I think that you as a man you have to pay regardless yeah about all this stupid stuff but you should only be paying for the woman that uh, is actually the mother of your kids 
and the woman that's your wife, right? So other than that, if she's not really into you and you're not really into her, why bother paying? Unless the date was your idea as a man and you should be paying because you're not inviting women to spend their own money. Stop being a loser, go into the real world and see how people operate.